how are you today? I'm great. How are you, Ellie? Good. I would. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself first? Uh, my name's Nate Firstenau. Um, I'm one of the owners of Acres Inn. Uh, Jake Haig is the co-owner, my other owner. Um, he's unfortunately not able to come today, but uh, together we operate Acres Inn here in Pontiac, Illinois. Well, this is a great location, and you guys have awesome food. Thanks. We've had several different. I have a couple of vegetarians in my family, and they're really excited that you've added that portobello sandwich. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Um, just a few things. What? Uh, how many years or is it months that Not you've been even, here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not long enough. We opened in November 2019, so eight months, eight and a half months now. Um, it's been wild. Yeah, and and even through these COVID times, and you guys have obviously have outdoor dining available yeah. now and we're, you're still doing only outdoor dining correct yes only outdoor dining for now uh, we're hoping to offer our inside dining as soon as we can uh, we're just waiting for everything to kind of play itself out and, and level out until we do that but uh, but yeah we're, we're hanging in there we're doing okay the community's been awesome um, and our outdoor dining has been really really cool so happy the city's been able to do that for for us and all the restaurants here in town so it's, it's been going okay yeah well that's great what inst inspired you to start your business? So, uh, Jake grew up in Colum, Illinois. Uh, went to high school here in Pontiac. I grew up in a tiny little town in Missouri, and we met um, in Chicago working together for a small, like, um, farm to table catering and events company about 10 years ago. And, um, and we've kind of talked on and off about opening our own little restaurant, featuring uh, local farmers and producers um, uh, since then. And so fast forward, uh, uh, many conversations and a little bit of luck, and we have a restaurant here. And so we're really excited about offering and showcasing our local farmers and producers doing fresh food sourced locally as much as we can. Um, and we, beyond that, want to offer like a just an awesome place to work for our, our employees and staff and then ultimately contribute in a positive way to, to our community. So that's kind of the, the overall goal that we're, that we're hoping to achieve. And, so well, far, we're, we hope we're doing okay. It's been a great addition to downtown. Awesome. We have you know several different restaurants, and I think the more the merrier. It brings more people down, and um, you know, one day you could have lunch someplace, and the next day have dinner the other. And yeah. um, walking through t downtown, I, I see that there's lots of business. So yeah. I, I'm hoping that works out for you. Uh, what kind of menu? You said farm to table and yeah. Um, so we we want to just do fresh foods um, sourced as locally as possible whenever possible. So whether that's our veggies and proteins, um, um, yeah, we just want to kind of showcase those those growers that are nearby. It's kind of a rare thing these days. You can go into a restaurant and order greens or proteins that are coming from down the road and your neighbors. Um, and so we just want to we really want to do that. Um, beyond that, our our menus uh, pretty seasonal, so you'll see changes throughout the year based on what's available. Um, and that's kind of fun. It kind of keeps things fresh and and, and new what is one of um your favorite items on your menu oh man right now we have this blt with these heirloom tomatoes from carol's uh edge oh man i'm gonna mess it up edge ridge farm um nearby and um the tomatoes are just just gorgeous and they're super flavorful and we're laying that down on some house made sourdough uh it's really really good yeah. who does most of the cooking uh, Jake leads all the cooking. Um, he, he leads the kitchen and Nick Hart, he does all of our baking. Um, so, um, yeah, everything in house, we try to make, uh, we try to make everything we can in house, whether it's our breads and pickles or, um, our, uh, our sauces and syrups for cocktails and our coffee menu. Um, we try to do everything we can in house. So you do have a liquor license and you... Yeah, for sure. So beyond like our food menu, we offer craft cocktails, wines, uh, local beers, and then a full coffee menu featuring uh, Illinois roasted coffee. Um, so yeah, it's, it's neat and it's fun. Yeah, that, that's, for a small town like Pontiac, I know might not be as small as the town that you came from, but for us to have this available to our locals and at some point we'll have visitors back <laughs> and to have that available to them is awesome as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. Um, what is your favorite menu? Oh, I asked you that already. That didn't BLT. I? Oh, the BLT. Yeah, see? I caught myself. <laughs> you got to try it. Ellie, you got to try it. <laughs> okay. Um, can you order online? You can order online. Um, that was something that we, we kind of put together when the pandemic started. It wasn't something we initially uh, had in mind, but uh, we put that together in the spring, and it's been going great. It's really easy. You can order online. You can pay online and pick it up at our, our pickup window here in the front. Um, you can even order in advance and pick it up after work if that's something you want to do. So, yeah, it's super easy, super great. Oh, that, that's, yeah, kind of a nice added addition. I see you still have parking spot here, so if you yeah. order online, you can just pull into the reserved parking spot. We'll even bring it out to you. Do you guys deliver? We were offering delivery. We put that on pause temporarily, but um, if you're a delivery person, we're hoping to get that back online here shortly, definitely by the fall at the latest. 
Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, just a huge thanks to like you guys and the city and all of our awesome patrons. Um, you know, it's not ideal opening a restaurant or any business, I guess, for that matter, during a pandemic. But um, it's not not necessarily been easy. But we're we're making it work, and we're making it work mostly because of how how supportive everyone in, the, in Pontiac and the community has been, and that's just been super heartwarming and and uh, and warming and, and just awesome. So that's th I, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Um, I should have asked a little bit about the Airbnb. Oh yeah, um, above the restaurant we have an Airbnb. It's a gorgeous space, uh, two bedrooms, three beds, open floor plan. Um, it's available to rent on Airbnb um, or for small private events too. So you can reach out to us directly um, if you wanna do it like a small event. Um, right now, probably not great because all the pandemic stuff going on, but down the road, if you have um, have uh, event ideas, we'd love to love to help help do those. So yeah, it's cool. Um, that was kind of the first step and the restaurant was the second step. So um, yeah, absolutely. We wish you lots of success and we hope that uh, we get back to normal here pretty soon and you can open your doors and have have the place filled every day. Hey, awesome. Thanks, Ellie. <laughs> Thank you.